I'm seriously beginning to feel it in the midriff. Stitches or pain, but I can feel it there. Not good, not good. Let's, can I hold on? Tip top trippers, my name is Donato and welcome to my latest race day video where today I'll be taking you on the Worcester City Half Marathon. Yes guys, really can't wait. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so, so we can share the joy of running. And please do share this video amongst all your friends and family, wherever they may be, far and wide. So let's crack on with it, race day. Mm? But time for a quick dynamic warm up. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's bright and breezy here on Sunday morning, Sunday the 4th of September, as I head over the uh, River Severn on the bridge here, Worcester Cathedral in the background. I'm gonna get familiar with this particular part of the route. Yes, I am on the route already. We'll be crossing this bridge a number of times during the half marathon. And right now, early morning, I'm just heading out for a, a bit of a warm up, a bit of a primer before the race. They've got the barriers all out here ready to close the roads. The roads aren't just yet closed because it's around 7am. I think they close the roads at 8am. Anyway, so my warm up, nice easy jiggy jog with some strides at the end. Yeah, and that's my little primer for this morning. Very, very short. 15 minutes at most, excluding the strides because there's a bit of walking in that, but maybe a 15 minute easy. And then I may do another sort of semi warm up immediately before the race, just to uh, get the legs back up again. So let's crack on. So right now I'm running along the part of the course where it now says mile 12. Yes, a glorious part of the course with Diglis Weir here and uh, the Riverside Park is absolutely beautiful. Whether it'll be beautiful at the time of the race with one mile left to go to half marathon, it remains to be seen. So that's the strides complete at the end of the jiggy jog. I'll just do another little gentle run back uh, home, get changed into race gear and ready to go. Yes, indeed. A big shout out to Chris and Mac, two guys who literally just bumped into me now. I took some selfies with them and uh, yes, they both watch my channels. It's great to see you guys. I'm sure we've seen many, many more. So uh, let's go get changed now. So I'm now changed, yes, into race gear. Oh my word, it looks like it might drizzle a bit. Please don't. But anyway, <laughs> yes, I want to stay warm. Um, but anyway, all changed into uh, race gear now and heading over to the uh, cafe area. We're going to meet up with some groups beforehand and then head over to the start. So I'm heading over to the uh, cafe under the arches, wherever, and this is where a lot of the uh, run groups meet. You've got the Pershaw Plum Plodders, you've got the uh, Yes, you heard that right. The Pershaw Plum Plodders. Pershaw is famous for its plums. There you go, that's why that one. We've also got the um, Black Pear Joggers. Yes, the Black Pear Joggers. And yes, you heard that correctly, because they're a Worcester group and Worcester is famous for its black pears. And then also you've got the vegan runners where I'll be meeting over within a moment. Yes. So obviously, obviously now we have to have the obligatory group photo. <laughs> Everybody cheer, you're on camera. <laughs> So the Young Ones race has already started, so I'm here getting the vibes at the start point. So I'm gonna do, try and find some of the other guys, do a bit of a warm up and then head over to the start myself. So I'm here in the Athletes Village, as you can see, lots of people here, a lot, a lot of people and uh, lots of queues. So I'm trying to find uh, Kieran here, head over towards the uh, Hive. He sent me a baggage drop, so I'm gonna look for a sign that says baggage drop. So I'm now at the Hive which is Worcester Library and this is part of the course and the hive is named obviously because it looks like a beehive. Yes, I know. And like finding the needle in a heat stack, here's Kieran, yes. And is that the Lord Mayor? So Kieran's now dropped off his bag. I nearly said bag dropped, but yeah, he's dropped off his bag. It wasn't bag and uh, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up, I think. Yeah, do you think so? Do yeah, a little bit, so, yeah. just a little bit of a warm up on the course, maybe around the race course here. So we're now starting our warm up on the race course part of the race, but in the opposite direction. And uh, just having a look, seeing where they've got all the banners for the race. So uh, there is a middle section in there where we'll be running around to make up the distance. 
looking forward to it, Kieran. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's continue. So warm up now done and just heading over to the toilets for the last minute emptying. And in the background, I could hear that the 10K race has now started. Oh, whoopie do. Here we go. So the excitement is building. We're heading over to, oh, they're all corralled into, uh, Let's see if we can... Uh, so here we are at the uh, front, ready in the corrals, ready to go. You can see, this, yeah, we've been locked in our cages. Literally, you can see a cage just along there. So uh, getting us ready for the uh, start. So I'm seriously looking forward to this. I don't know what's going to happen, but the strategy is a very simple one. Go easy, slow in the first three to five K and then either pick up hold or slow down yeah it's it's not rocket science so let's see how i go so here i am we've running with andy he's at the front with us because he's going to be doing a sub 120 today. <laughs> yeah i right? think i'm going to go a few yards back <laughs> I, I think i'd rather get ahead of people actually and then yeah, cool yeah, it down yeah, yeah so but as we always say don't go too quick in yeah, the first which column. never ever happens no, no, no. Okay. yeah good luck Enjoy today mate. and you good mate luck. all good the best luck. take care so we are lining up for the start. We are getting ready to go. Okay, move out of the way, Brian. Move out of the way. Anybody on pass because the half marathon is about to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Worcester City half marathon. Go! 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 Here we go, nice, relatively easy pace to start with. Hopefully I've got quite a few of you at the start there. And uh, let's head over the bridge. barriers up at the moment because the, the 10k race is coming towards the finish so uh, yes let's go so we're over the bridge for one time I think we'll be going over the bridge three times as we were passing Worcester County Cricket Ground really feeling the breeze here call it a breeze some might call it a moderately strong wind but hey feeling good so far holding a nice pace passing by university arena oh sweet memories of the uh, queen's baton relay commonwealth games here Good to see always someone waving at the camera. So 3K in, holding a super steady pace. I think as it's so hot and muggy, my feeling really dry parched. I'm gonna continue at this pace and see how I feel progressively, whether to push on or not. But at the moment it's a hold, Texas Holden. How does it 
this way. Ah, yeah. How does this work? <laughs> well, I avoided it. <laughs> All right, okay. Basically just to quench my desert throat. Anyway, we're heading back into town and I've got Matt running with me. He's doing London Marathon as well. What a great guy, and he ran Chester last year super fast guy and uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been very modest now but uh, so yeah heading back into town and for some crazy loops inside there just passing the cricket ground heading into town and over the bridge over the bridge for second time and we got the 10k runners on the other side coming in so yeah and here's the bridge looking good Hey, hey. There we go. What is it, Mr? Hey, hey. <laughs> it's good to see a fellow park runner cheering out. Great crowds here. So, this will be the home straight in about, oh, in about nine miles' time. Blimey. So we're now coming across the Worcester race course, coming into the Worcester Grandstand, which if you've been following me a while, we'll know this is part of the course for the Worcester Pitchcroft 10K. Oh yes. So halfway around the Worcester race course loop, starting to pass people now, getting into my stride. It's good. Right now turning into a small loop in the race course to make up the distance. Yes, <laughs> part of the park on course as well. Ooh. So it's a bit of a cross country run here. Wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I thought it's maybe tarmac or something, but hey, it's proper grass. Just completed 10K in 41.46. That is a nice tidy pace that is. Let's keep this going. Right, just come out of the race course. Thank you guys. I do love the cheering. So we're now right into the squiggly niggly bits of the uh, city centre and this cheeky hill here. Whoa. Right, heading out for the loop around the hive. Hive coming up. Worcester Library. Ah, at the hive. Ah, man. Whew. Coming up to mile seven. So another six to go, six in a bit. Good grief. For those observant amongst you, you may have noticed. And I'm still holding 
not going for any push, really feeling it in this heat. Oh man, it's so draining and hot and humid. But hey, let's keep going. Count down the miles. So we're just about to pass the Church of the Runners, yes. Make D. But I won't be pulling over this time. And tea party. Everybody have an air breakfast here. Hey, all right, buddy. Oh, it's Mac. Hello, Mac. Hope you've done well in your 10K. Looks like you got your medal, so well done. Now we're going through proper city centre here. Crown Gate Shopping Centre. Oh. And then up sharp turn up here. Right, this is where the grit starts. Pure grit now. As, as we pass the statue of Algar and into the city centre. Oh, lovely day. Just passing down New Street. Lovely Tudor buildings here. Absolutely love it. Although right now, I'm seriously beginning to feel it in the midriff. Not quite stitches or pain, but I can feel it there. Not good, not good. But can I hold on? Let's go. Worcester Cathedral now. One of those cheeky hills here. Man, seriously feeling it. Ooh, let's push. So now running along the River Severn, Worcester Cathedral heading up. And we're gonna get into Diglis very soon. And then is that the home straight? The last three miles, 5k, but still a couple of miles to get to the last three miles. Pop to gel. Didn't see the mile markers, so I'm guessing I've passed mile eight. Well, I hope I have. Just passed mile 10 at the anchor. This is the moment of truth now. Can we do it heading into Diglett Marina? We got this, we got this. Three and a half K left, heading into Diglett Park. One last push now, one last push. Diglett Park now, oh, under two miles. Come on, I see a wind. Whew. Right, we're now heading over Diglis Bridge. Little over a mile to go. Let's dig in, dig in. Let's go. Diglis Weir. One mile to go. One last push. Push, push, push. One K to go. Really feeling it now. Oh man. Giving it all I got. This is we're really in the pain cave now. Have to really push, push. Last 400 meters here. Oh man. And above. Oh man, this so hurts. Oh. 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 Oh God. Oh. The goal is achieved! Hey! Martin Walton, Rich Miller, Bill Lashford, also across the line, Matthew Walton, Martin Miller, 
Okay, what? Right, you head down again, cool you off again. Oh, that's really Hallelujah. Oh, that feels so good. Thank you. You're a darling. Oh, hello to you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We done it. Goal achieved, and I'm feeling totally epic. I'm going to draw my breath. Catch you in a moment. Of course, first thing after a run is recovery drinks. And thanks to the um, guy, girl guys of Worcester volunteering here, giving out the drinks, isotonic drink, which I'm having, and also water. Oh man, I feel so. Oh. Of course, no big city race would be amiss without a medal. Hey. Oh. Can I have five? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. Sorry, take you Thank them. you very much. Yes. That is properly well earned. And there's a whole plethora of medals here. I finished my drink. <sighs> oh. Thank you. Right. Shirts, bags. Oh, look at this. They got tote bags here. I'm going to go for a small. Thank you very much. Oh, I do like these. Nice tote bag. And it's full of goodies. And speaking of goodies, there's bananas here. Oh, yes. I'll put my medal in here. And bananas. And uh, it looks like some... Hey, how are you doing, young man? Remember me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, good. How Feeling good? Well, good under 90, under 90. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, had to, oh, I had to shout at a kid to sprint with me. Oh, no, no, yes, please. Yeah, no. Let me just pause this. Of course, of course, now is the time to do the uh, static stretches. And, whoa, boy, I'm so happy with that. But I really had to push those last couple of miles to uh, get under 130. <laughs> Proper feeling it. I've got here just in time for the winner. It's Owen Jones. Can we get a family photo as well, can we, team? Yeah, get all the family in there. 74 minutes. Good God. So 74.53, your chip time, actually. Did you I'm get that? 74.53. That's the a goal to aim for. 54. The chip time was 74.53. OK, in second place, in a time of 72.16, Malachi Cashmore. <laughs> Well done, buddy, and just facing the camera. Nice big smiles. And in first place, running a storming 66-44, it was Alex Lawrence. <laughs> so Alex Lawrence is the winner of the men's half marathon here in Worcester. And just one in front of you as well, Jenny. That's the one. Okay. Jamie Peters in third place there. Second place in the female race in the Worcester City Half Marathon in a time of 1.28.20. It was Louise Collins. Well done, Louise. And in first place, and the winner of the women's Worcester City Half Marathon, an official time of 1.27.15, Kate Telford. <laughs> Kate Telford there, brilliant win, 1.27. And if we could have all three ladies back for a group photo in front of the BBC tent, that would be fantastic. So all three ladies back for a group photo and Steph will hand you your envelopes we're going for frames again this year I like it we've got a couple of frames in the house fantastic with the, fantastic. the new so that was fantastic seeing all the prize winners there and some amazing times I mean especially being so humid and hot whilst it was breezy and uh, yeah I'm just gonna head back get changed showered and then meet up with uh, 
with a group over at a place called Paradiddles. I've never been here, got no idea, but hey, it's a great way to spend post-race with some friends, have some food, and uh, yeah, probably show off our t-shirts and medals and all that jazz, hey? So uh, let's go get showered. But before I go for my shower change and all that, I thought I'd go and have a little recovery run. 15, 20 minutes, somewhere around there, yeah? And, because uh, I'm sure my legs will thank me for it tomorrow. Yeah, keep your blood flowing. Especially after that sprint finish towards the end. I ain't gonna lie, but boy, do my legs feel like lead. <laughs> I think I really punched them in those last few miles, but oof. But this recovery run will help a lot, I think. And then obviously the food will really help. Thank you so much for the guys on the aid station giving me uh, some water. Even though I haven't got a big number or anything. But uh, yeah, very kind of them. Thank you so much. And oh, I really do need to hydrate. Legs are feeling better already. It's amazing how the blood flow and everything with this recovery really does help. So uh, they were a bit creaky to start with, but feel a lot better now. Already. <laughs> So apparently this was repairing. I don't know what's gone up with this camera, but hey, hopefully this is recording. Let's see what happens. Well, I certainly feel happier passing Diglis Weir now than I did uh, <laughs> about uh, 45 minutes ago, an hour ago. But hey, you know, when you see this sign, it says 12 miles here. I know, right. When it says 12 miles, and you know you've got 1.1 mile to go. Oh, that push, that push. And obviously wanted to make sure that none of my innards popped out. Um, because midway through I was feeling it and it wasn't comfortable. So conscious, the goal is London Marathon. I didn't want to do anything dangerous today. And uh, put my health at risk because maintaining my health is important. Race times a random 30 second or minute, two minutes doesn't make a difference as far as I'm concerned. It's all about enjoying it up to a point and then push that little bit. Of course, I'm doing my cool down run and who do I bump into? But hey, Kieran's all changed and ready. Feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Best so I thought I'd better do a little cool down, lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feeling good now? Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. It was a good race, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I enjoyed I'm glad it. glad I did it. We'll get uh, some food down our neck and feel better after, yeah? Yeah. Relax, catch you yeah, soon. Yeah, Take see care, you mate. Well, yeah, cheers, cheers. Well done, buddy. As I say, one mile. Well, less than one mile now. You're doing great. So, yeah, how about that, eh? Bumping into Kieran on his way home. Ooh. So, cool down run complete. Yes, so, um, so now it is time to get back, shower, change, and uh, get into full recovery mode. Yes, yes. Remember, bananas, Mars bars, bananas, Mars bars. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, so I finally get to sit down and oh boy, it's been pretty frantic even after the race with the cool down run, shower, change, meeting up with the um, vegan runners, having a lovely, lovely meal there. And um, boy, yes, hopefully I've got a picture appearing so you can see what a delicious meal it was. And great to catch up with everyone and well done to everybody. Brilliant running from everyone who I met today. Subscribers, non-subscribers, whatever, just everybody having a fantastic time. And I did actually enjoy it. I know there were some difficult points in that race because I was determined to get under that 90 minutes. That wasn't going to be taken away from me. So I take no prisoners when that comes in. So I had the energy and I could hold it. And thank you to the lad who I shouted at. says, come on, let's go quicker. And he did and paced me all the way for the last uh, mile. So well done to that chap, whoever he is. So fantastic run. Well done, everybody. I loved it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, I'm off to have a nice hot bath. Yes, I know. Might be contrary to uh, what the mainstream people may be saying about these ice baths and cold showers and all that. But me, call me old fashioned. I like a nice hot bath and with some uh, Epsom salts in there. So I'm nice and relaxed because let's chill out with the brain because that was a tough, tough mental uh, race that was. So uh, for me, thumbs up. Official time, 1 hour 29 and 14 seconds. So yes, well inside the uh, 90 minutes, sub 90. So um 
but I did need to dig in, as you've probably seen on uh, that particular uh, footage. There was there was a lot of digging in. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And um, but for me, it's onwards to London Marathon, and I'll re-establish what goals that will be happening. And uh, yes, there isn't a cat in L's chance that we're going sub three in the next four weeks. Yeah, let's keep it real, guy, guys and gals. Yeah, not delusional. So uh, we are here at the Real Channel where we talk about real stuff, not uh, made up stuff that uh, people can cook up some hocus pocus numbers and all magic. Because as we all know, when it comes to endurance training, endurance racing, it's about the time, effort and work that you put in, not some magic that you sort of think up and uh, somehow magically do that. It doesn't work that way. You put the work in, you get the results coming out. It is relatively that logistically simple i think don't you think but anyway enough of me rambling on here at the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed it it's been the full edit i know and you've already uh, enjoyed the short edit version but it was fabulous the icing on the cake for me was um, this is organized by events of the north and uh, the owner steve cram yes for those of you back in the uh, 80s he was one of the top athletes of our time here in britain he runs the events, Events of the North. And would you believe, on my way back from having my meal, I did bump into uh, Steve on the high street. So hello, Steve, if you're watching this. Yes, has that picture appeared? Yes, I did take a selfie with him. I didn't have my GoPro with me. I did miss. I didn't take my GoPro with me to the meal either. So really bad. But uh, hopefully some of the pictures have appeared. I had a good time. It was fantastic. And uh, even with the showers. Yes, I know. We did have a bit of a shower here um, mid-afternoon. But... Um, my voice has virtually gone. I need to do a bit more shopping and get some food in and stuff, supplies. And um, but enough about me. How did you get on? Yeah. Tell me in the comments below. It's fabulous seeing so many of you. Take care, guys. Love you all. Onwards and upwards. London Marathon. Here we come. Oh. 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 Oh.